So, hello fellow banknote collectors, how are you going today? My name is Glenn, if you're just new here, I'd like to welcome you, and if you're coming back, I'd like to say hello again, how are you going today? So today, I have these current banknotes of Singapore. So, these banknotes were introduced in 1999, and deal 2, 5, and 10 were... Um, are in polymer and the 50, 100, 500, 1000, and 10,000 are in uh, paper cotton version. So, but the highest denomination I have here is actually the $50. And this is an exchange rate of one to one with the Australian dollar. So, these are pretty much equivalent to whatever you have in Australia. So originally, these were issued in paper form. Uh, the $10 changed to polymer in 2004, the two in 2006, and the five in 2007. So on the front, we have uh, the president, or the first president of Singapore, uh, Enric Yusof bin Isaac, and he is actually well, this is a, the first series that he's actually been on Singapore's banknotes, and before that, he, they actually had a bird and a ship series, and the first series of banknotes was actually um, just had like plants on it on the front and symbols on the back, but we won't worry about those. <laughs> so. These actually have a feature of the blinds, like Braille, and it's actually raised, and each of these individual banknotes has a different number of circles. So the two has one, the five has ten, the, uh, the five has two, and the ten has two, but they're in uh, different sequences. The fifty has three, and so on. So what are the security features on these banknotes? Well, we have uh, the alliance head here, which is a security feature. We have a watermark. Yes, you can use, put those on our poly polymer banknotes. Uh, see-through window, and we have another see-through window. Is there anything that actually matches up the line itself? So if you look on the other side, it actually has the lines there as well. These are not bad banknotes. It also has like a, a seal that Chinese government officials used to use. And it says this is legal tender, $2 in Singapore. And on the reverse, we have education. And if we, well, these ones have nothing underneath education. So these were issued before uh, 2007, and this one has a square down the bottom. So this is actually a 2007 note. So you get different types of symbols. This one has a triangle, so that's 2009. So you got one symbol, and then you get two symbols, which is the next year. So do we have any double symbols on here? Let's have a look. No. 2007. How about this polymer one? No. How about this? Oh, yeah. So, on this $10 banknote, we have two, a square, which is 2007. Two squares, which is 2008. And I've done a little chart here. So... If we have a look, so one square is 2007, two, 2008, one triangle, 2009, two, one diamond, 2011, two diamonds, 12, one star, 13, two stars, 14, oh, these ones are filled in, and a hollow star, 15, and two stars, 16. And then we have, um, like, houses, one house, two house, 
but I'm not too sure what dates those are. Maybe they overlap, but I have to research more. If you're from Singapore and you actually know which ones they are, I'd actually like to find out. Anyway, the $5 banknote is pretty much the same on the obverse. So the obverse is this side. And on the reverse, we have uh, Garden City. And so a 200 Hmm. Has uh, looks like orchids there. Beautiful flowers. So so anyway, this is supposed to be a two hundred year old tembos at Singapore Botanical Gardens, and these are uh, Vanda Miss Jacquem National Flower of Singapore. And on the $2 note, we have various buildings in Singapore. So we have Victoria's Bridge School, uh, Raffles Institute on Brass, uh, Brass Bazaar Road, and the College of Medicine. So I presume College of Medicine is that building there. So, and these will be students at the Victoria Bridge School, which is uh, actually quite an old school and probably one of the first in Singapore. So on the $10, we have sports. So we have looks, jogging, we have badminton, soccer, sailing, and swimming. Badminton, that could actually be tennis, because tennis is better. And they're the modern sports that pretty much most countries play now. And nice, beautiful banknote. Now these don't really have any type of differences in their serial numbers. So I don't need to go into that. And here is the $50. So we have a security thread. We have this patch looks like a flag. But it has actually 10. Can you see it? No. We have a metallic symbol here. Has has a line on it. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. So you can see the line there. And it also has... No. Maybe if I do it this way. Ah, uh, yeah, it has 50. You can see that, that's awesome. And if I turn it this way, it actually mm, has a star symbol in it. And we have a watermark, and this line also goes through, so you can see that there. Beautiful, nice bank note. And on the reverse, we have some musical instruments. We have the, not too sure which is which, uh, the pipa, kompang, vena, and uh, looks like a, a violin, modern violin. So we have traditional instruments there yeah, with a modern violin. And we have um, two different artworks. So, drawing salted fish here by Chong Song Peng and Gibbons Fetching the Moon from the Water by Cheng Weng Si. And these are two modern Singapore artists. So, I actually quite like that. I like the monkeys. Awesome. Gibbons, are, well, they're terrifying if you go and see them, but, you know... They're still primates. No, probably not primates, but monkeys. Awesome. Awesome. This bank note's pretty worn. So it's only worth face value because they're still currently in circulation. But anyway, 
I like to say thank you very much for watching my video. And if you like Singapore coins, give this video a thumbs up because they are awesome. And have an awesome banknote collecting time, people. Bye-bye.